Georgia Nasikas creates works of art that combine her love of painting with her passion for nature. She uses a centuries-old technique called encaustic that combines beeswax, natural color pigment, and tree resin, or damar, with heat to create an enduring product. Encaustic is a Greek word that means to burn in so that every layer of wax and pigment and damar that goes on the surface needs to be fused with heat so that one layer adheres to the layer below. This is the honey, then there's pollen. The wax comes from the bees she keeps in her garden. This is the wax directly from the hive and I use the sun that melts it into a, a beautiful, rich, golden uh, wax patty. And then this is a kind of a heated wok that I turn on and melt it down and ultimately end up mixing it with the damar. And the damar is the resin from fir trees. And I mix that with these beautiful, gorgeous, earth-sourced pigments that come from around the world. And that's the trio of ingredients that has made this since the ancient Greeks, the Egyptians, uh, enduring form of art. The result is artwork with soft, muted colors that comes from and is inspired by nature. It is a constant source of beauty and that is the single most important ingredient in my work. That theme is evident in a series she created about her bees, who not only provide honey and the raw materials for her art, but are often themselves the subject of her paintings. We uh, have had something called colony collapse disorder that has been affecting the bee population, and I did a series of paintings depicting my interpretation of colony collapse disorder by exploding the beehives. <laughs> and nature is a central theme in her personal life as well. In addition to keeping bees, Nasikas raises chickens, and her garden is filled with native plants to attract pollinators like bees and butterflies. I come from a long line of gardeners, and it's, it's all about having one's fingers in the earth. You get the, the, the dirt under your nails sometimes. I personally couldn't help myself. It just came out of my fingertips. Those fingertips have been busy painting and planting and serving creatures with whom she shares the earth. Julie Tabo, VOA News, McLean, Virginia.